update. So we've got a sawmill ran completely on wind power. I just watched a 10 minute video of building this and it's one of the most interesting things I've ever seen in my life. So I haven't been inside yet. Here's all of the, the lumber that they've cut, but uh, let's go inside and take it up, check it out. So this is where it all starts. So they would have brought the logs up here by raft or by boat or barge. And then this is where they came into the mill and they actually use the wind power on a winch, which you'll see here in a minute, to drag them in there and across the, basically the blades. So this is where it would go in. Beautiful place. Oh, it's so mad, yeah. beautiful. So the logs would come up the ramp here and into the, look at this. So I've been sitting here for a couple minutes or so, and the speed of the, how quickly the saw blades cut uh, is constantly changing with the wind. It'll go down to it almost stops, and right now a gust picked up or the wind increased, and now it's cutting much faster. The entire mill is just vibrating under the power of the cutting arm. So as the crankshaft turns, so it's just like a crank, just, just like on a, on a car engine. So you can, this, you can see there, so that camshaft or that crankshaft changes these saws up and down. So I'm sorry, you said you resharpen every 200 meters? Every 50 meters, resharpen. One, one meter in one hour. So uh, he's showing me right here, this is a pit saw. This is what they would have used before the windmill, before it was automated. And you were saying one meter per hour, the two, two men. So right there, this is what the way they would have had to have ripped lumber before. This would have been a, a kind of a pit saw. I've got one of these saws at home and you can see the long handle on it. This would have been the guy on the top would have that, and the guy on the bottom would have been the junior man. I always thought it'd be opposite because it would be easier to pull, you know, like doing a pull-up all, imagine doing that all day, and the sawdust in your face. It's just incredible. The workmanship of this place is, it's un un unbelievable. So this is really interesting. So you can see that these bars you saw in the previous section where he was, they can put them anywhere on here with the rope. What they do is they, they twist that broomstick handle there uh, to hold down the log because if the log is crooked like this, they'll need to constantly be shifting the end of it. So the sawyer is, is watching this and making sure that the blades, if they get off the center, he can simply loosen that up, take a PV and pry that over or wedge it over, lock it back down and continuing to make those adjustments so he's cutting straight through. That's so brilliant. So the thing that uh, the, feed, the feed system you have is so clever. So it, it works uh, in unity with the wind. So if the wind gets faster, so the wind has increased so much that they're, they're going to have to change the, uh, uh, the pitch of the blade because these, uh, these uh, saw frames are starting to bounce, can't handle the speed. 
so he abruptly cut off our very interesting conversation <laughs> uh, to go up there and to see to this. So they've got four, they can cut four logs at a time depending on the wind. So uh, because the wind is too fast, they have to go change the, they have to rotate the, the blades out of the wind. So this is, uh, so I mean you can imagine, so this is wind driven. So it's going to be, it's going to operate, if the wind is blowing fast, it's going to operate fast. If it's going slow, it's going to operate slow. So the problem that would come up is how do you feed, how do you alter the feed of the log? How do you control how fast it goes into the blade? Because if it, of course, if it's cutting faster, you can feed it faster, cutting slower, feeding slower. So what they devised is so brilliant, it's this cog system, and each one of these teeth is a millimeter. And so you'll see here as he engages this, the speed of this carriage going up and down directly controls how fast the feed is. So slow wind, slow feed, fast wind, fast feed. And that way you don't have to worry about trying to, you know, push, pushing the logs too quickly into the, into the blades and ruining something. It's, it is an elegant and brilliant design. So build that. Two years. So they... You, you can see the crankshaft here. Yeah. The crankshaft, yeah. So here is the original plans that they found. Yes. And this, bill, this mill was built. It took two years to build it. It's all brand new. But they used all the original schematics. You can see the crankshaft here. That, that is amazing. Where did they find the, the, the prints? So even though it was built uh, recently, look at even the floor nails here are all handmade. So here's the portion that I think is one of the most clever things. Look how the feed mechanism works. Now this is controlling how fast the log is being fed into the blades. used to those shoes? Not a long time. Are they comfortable? You can wear them all day? I can. I wear them all day. You do? Not daily, but uh -huh. you can wear them all and day. And is each pair custom made? No, 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 no. It's all They're, made by a factory. They all are. Day. And so... Uh, I feel it's very light. Eh? Oh, it is very light. And the, no no rubber on the bottom? No. No problem with... Just, you know, it's sometimes a little bit slippery. So I learned something today. So they before they cut their their wood they leave it in the water for he said a year and the water removes apparently moves the sugars out of the wood and so when they eventually when they cut it it's less likely to warp and twist once it's wa all of that's been washed out of it i never knew that that's why i have such a problem with mine uh, that i cut from green <laughs>